what is up guys it is your boy rx king and we're gonna be going over some pretty exciting stuff today um this is more of a news video so if you guys are interested in that be sure to finish the whole thing and get all the information but um it's pretty exciting to be a halo fan lately i gotta say we've got brand new information about the mod tools and the modding future of halo mcc we've got some information on the future development of mcc and we also possibly might have a release date with the tools this is a huge possibly it is not confirmed i just want to reiterate that but it could happen so we're going to get into that we're going to dive into the video if you guys like these new kind of videos with information and news and things like that let me know down below and let's dive into it all right so an mcc dev update for september this is a lot of information in here a lot of it is super exciting to hear whether it be for modding or just the game in general there's a lot of good stuff here and i'm excited to go over this with you guys i personally think this is the right move with everything that they've included in this uh this dev update and i think the future of the mcc is looking really bright it's a really good time to be a halo fan so basically the first half of it is talking about season eight what's going to be coming with it and then their content release plan after season eight so when season eight drops it will be the last seasonal update they will stop doing the season update method or you know way of releasing content to the game so they're just dropping the seasons completely and from season eight on they will be doing just constant small updates or bug fixes or you know modding tool updates or whatever it's all just going to come when it's ready instead of it being chunked together in one release date to be pushed and you know rushed to get to this date or whatever they're just going to do it at their own pace i think this is a great move for mcc in general because instead of us waiting to get fixes or graphical fixes or you know modding updates or you know new game modes or whatever they'll just do it when they're ready i personally think this is the way to go with the game i really do there's a lot of good stuff that's coming in the future for mcc especially this fall i'm really excited and i think you guys should be too so season eight we've got the new armors and things like that as it was uh shown i'm sure most of you are aware of the controversy going around with the new armor pieces and things like that not a lot of people are happy with them because it's not halo's look or aesthetic which i understand you know they don't want to take away from the art style but at the same time they're branching out they're doing something cool i personally think the new armors are sick so you know i'm super excited for season eight now onto the juicy stuff mcc modding is gonna be blowing up a lot more and hopefully soon so basically we've got some images here of the halo 2 and halo 3 modding being done as we can see halo 3 sapien is a thing so i'm sure halo 2 and halo 3 will have similar tools to ce maybe with some more intricacies and you know new little things to fit the engines but the modding workspace is going to be very similar for what we can see which is nice we're already familiar with ce you know we've been using those tools for a while now for those of us who have been modding so to see the return of these tools is really nice especially for me you know because i'm used to halo one's workspace so to see this image right here makes me super happy halo 2 and halo 3 will be just as easy to mod I mean, you know, to an extent, depending on what you want to do project wise. But um, yeah, so basically we're going to be having a lot of more content modding wise come to the future. Halo uh, MCC will be getting a workshop. So a workshop will be coming. So if you're familiar with Gary's Mod or Left 4 Dead 2 or, you know, other games like that on Steam, they have a workshop page. And what you can do on that workshop page is go to the page of whatever mod you want. In this case, it will most likely be maps or maybe a game type or something like that. And you can subscribe to the game mode or map or whatever, and it will automatically download to your game. So it makes it super user friendly. So if you and a buddy want to play on a new map that your friend made or someone made or whatever, you can just hit the subscribe button, launch up your game and you can play. 
literally two seconds it's gonna be super 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 convenient for us that wanna just play mods with our friends and you know not have to replace files and you know rename stuff and do all that tomfoolery right now because modding is still very viable but it's just not accessible for those who want to play the mods it's kind of a hassle so modding workshop is gonna be a thing for the MCC we don't know when the workshop will be in implemented and we're not sure um, if it'll be after all the mod tools or if it'll be after Halo 2 and Halo 3, we're not sure. But that is the first chunk of good information for you guys. I think it's super exciting. Halo 2 is another favorite of mine. I do love Halo 3, but Halo 1 and 2 are my favorites, so I'll be focusing a lot on, uh, on Halo 2. There's going to be some mods coming out for that game by your boy. And uh, I'm super excited. I think MCC is going down the right path here. Mod support for the game is massive. I mean, being able to mod every title in the MCC is going to give the game infinite replayability. Like, literally infinite. As long as people cre keep creating content for it, we'll have stuff to play. So, very exciting for that end. And um, as for a release date for the tools... In the Reclaimers Discord, I'll bring it up really quick, there is a little screenshot here of one of the devs at 343, Mr. Farn, saying that the tools will be coming in Season 8 if they're ready. That's why I said supposedly, you know, we don't know for sure if they're going to come. If they are ready, then they will be coming with Season 8, which is so exciting. So fingers crossed that these tools get finished because if they do then we'll be modding Halo 2 and Halo 3 by the end of the year and I'm really excited for that. That is going to be a huge leap forward for, uh, for the MCC, for content makers, for modding in general and just having fun you know, with Halo. We're going to have a lot of new experiences that we've never had with Halo in the past and it's going to push the limits of the MCC. But um. That's pretty much all I wanted to go over with you guys. What do you think about the tool system? Do you think they should make the tools easier? Do you want them to use something else? Obviously they're not going to. I'm pretty happy with them using Sapien and things like that because we're familiar with them already. And I'm so excited to get into modding. Very, very exciting to get uh, Halo 2 and Halo 3 getting some mods in there, you know, doing some new stuff. So. Let me know what you think down below if you want to see more informational videos like this. I definitely would be uh, willing to do that. And uh, if you want a link to the Waypoint article, I will leave it down below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.